If I had to pick my favorite thing about Christmas, it would be Christmas lights. I love looking at them, I love putting them up, I love seeing other people's, I love when you guys show me yours, I love buying them, I love all of it, I love all of it. I am Clark Griswold, I want people to slow down. I want children to be like, oh my gosh, look at their Christmas lights. I want parents to be like, ooh, look at that house. Like, that's my goal. I live for that shit, okay? Like, that's what feeds my Christmas joy. So get ready, get set, because it's time for Christmas lights. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is time for my, my most awaited video of the entire year. You guys thought that the porch decor was awesome? Just wait until you see what's about to go down out here. You guys are going to be like, oh my god, Keely, is your house on fire? And I'm going to be like, no guys, that's just the Christmas lights. It took me three full days to put up. Granted, I did that all by myself, so excuse me while I... Today, we are sharing my outdoor Christmas light set up. Don't tell my husband how much money I've spent on this. So in today's video, you're gonna be seeing 10,000 lights strung up, big blow ups, DIYs, how I DIYed some trees for my yard, how I DIYed some gingerbread men for my yard. Nothing brings me joy quite like Christmas lights. I don't know what it is, but if you need a serotonin boost, which most of us do, come on, Christmas lights are the thing. I feel a little old after putting up all these lights because my back is hurting, but they're all up and it looks amazing. Throughout this video, I may look a little bit like a lumberjack and not in like a cute flannel kind of way, but in like a I'm trying to get shit done kind of way, but that's okay. I know you guys will understand. Okay, enough talking, let's go. The first project I'm doing is making some gingerbread cutouts. I wanted to do this on as much of a budget as I could, so I decided to use foam insulation board. I got it from Lowe's and I had to put it in our BMW, so that was a whole ordeal. I ended up having to break it in the parking lot to fit it in my car because my SUV is in the shop. I probably looked like a crazy person, but this is all beside the point, okay? Huge sheet of it was about $8 at Lowe's, and I used our projector to project a picture of these gingerbread people on it and then I traced it and, I, and I'm cutting it out with real power tools, okay? Don't underestimate me, y'all. If you don't have a projector, you could definitely freehand it, but I am no artist, y'all. And I just so happened to remember that we actually owned a projector, so I was like, oh my God, I gotta use it. It turned out great. Next, I spray painted them brown for the spray paint and the foam board. It came to just under 15 bucks to make these. And you could for sure use wood or some other material, but I really just wanted to see how it go. Maybe next year I will go with wood because I would love to make some more and have them be like really long lasting. made a little stack of presents and a Christmas tree out of the same sheet of foam. So I got a lot of stuff out of that one $8 foam board. The one I got is like a plastic sort of styrofoam material. I don't really know exactly what it's called. I'll try to link it for you guys down below, but it's not going to expand when it rains or anything. It's pretty waterproof and I'll definitely keep you updated on how they fare. But so far they're doing really well and they look so cute and it's been kind of windy and rainy and they're still holding up great. I wanted to make some Christmas trees out of lights for the yard. I started with some PVC pipe that I also picked up at Lowe's and I cut them to various lengths for how tall I wanted the trees. I got two long PVC pipes and it made four trees. Then I wrapped the pipes with red duct tape to make them look kind of like candy canes. This step is definitely not necessary, but I figured it would help them look better during the day.
Once I got them wrapped, I cut the bottoms into points to make it easier to hammer into the ground, and I scored the tops so I would have somewhere to hook the lights into. I started putting the lights on each one. The smallest one took one box of lights, the middle two sizes took two boxes of lights each, and the tallest one took three whole boxes of lights. The whole time Callie kept saying that they were our family, she said that the smallest one was her, and the next size was Cadence, and the other two were Tim and I. It was so cute. I was putting the lights on them. I used the light stakes to stake down each strand at the bottom, and then I tried to like make the strands equal distance from each other so it kept a nice cone shape. Overall, making the Christmas trees was super easy and really budget friendly. And they make a really big impact at night. I could definitely get behind making like four more of these for the other side of my house. If you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 30 years old and my middle name is really rainbow. I try my best to stay on the nice list, but sometimes I do put wine in my coffee cup. I'm only a morning person on Christmas day and it goes without saying that holidays are kind of my thing. I make YouTube videos about motherhood, DIYs, home decor, and what it's like to be me, someone who's slightly domestic and really, really relatable. I have two daughters who are five and nine and a husband who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here, y'all. You can count on me being the holiday hot mess, drinking mimosas at 7 a.m. on Christmas morning, and I'm only a Pinterest mom if it can be done in like less than 15 minutes. If you can relate to any of that and you're not subscribed, hopefully you will. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram for more DIYs and behind the scenes of our life. Anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, what is your favorite kind of Christmas content to see on YouTube? Decorations, gift ideas, routines? Let me know down below. DIYs, I started on outlining things with lights. I outlined down the driveway with right lights and around the flower beds. I like to use the light yard stakes for my lights. You can stretch the lights farther, keep them off the ground, and they look a lot better if you use yard stakes. I have the ones from Walmart linked down below, so don't forget to check out the description box if you have any questions about where things are from. I do my best to always try to link everything if I can. I do use a lot of the same stuff over and over, but I do what I can. Time to put up the gingerbreads. I look literally insane. Like anybody driving by is probably like, is that girl okay? Like look at my buns, they're so sad now. These are the steaks from Halloween. As you can see, they still have um, this shit on them. I don't know what this is called. Spider web. Um, but they worked really well for that and so I'm thinking I'm gonna try to repurpose them for the gingerbreads because obviously the gingerbreads need to be held up pretty well. I think if I space these out enough and like give them equal stabilization, then they won't be broken by the wind or knocked over. So I'm gonna hammer these in and see how it goes. I'm gonna make this side gingerbread cookie world and then the other side I'll put some of my blow ups out. So I've already lined both sides of the driveway and all around my flower bread with white lights as just sort of like a backdrop for everything else. I have these ugly trees. Let me show you guys. So I have these ugly trees by the street. I absolutely hate them. Um, but usually I line them with Christmas lights also. So I'll probably do that in a minute. I hate them. I want them to be cut down. Like I'm literally considering like getting out the chainsaw right now and cutting them down. Cause Tim and I both hate them. And we just like haven't had time to pull them out yet. So maybe today will be the day. I'm just feeling frisky. Um, honestly, the duct tape, I was a little worried. I didn't think it was gonna stick that well, but it did actually. It sticks really well to this material, so I don't think they're going anywhere. This is definitely trial and error. I'll keep you guys updated on Instagram if they like 
break or something. Way cheaper than using boards for sure. Let's go look at them from the front. Oh my God, y'all, they're so cute. I love them. Look at how cute they are. They're so adorable. Aw. the present, we've got the um, tree that Callie painted, <laughs> and then we've got the gingerbread couple here. So, feeling good about that. Since I didn't use this green garland for the porch, and I made my own porch garland, which if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. But I had a lot of green garland left over, so I decided to use it for around the garage. I used a staple gun to secure the garland and lights around my garage, but I probably wouldn't recommend that. You could definitely use command hooks or even put in hooks to make it easier. And I should definitely do that and take my own advice. But for some reason, a stapler is just always readily available and just makes its way to my hand. And I just staple that ish on there. So I'm sticking with like a candy cane, candy land, gingerbread house sort of theme this year. And I took these two big candy canes I got from Walmart for five bucks each and put them at the end of my walkway. I definitely wanna pick up some more of them because how cute are they for only $5? I used small pieces of rebar that I got from Lowe's and staked them into the ground and then put the candy canes on top so that they would stay standing. It was a really simple way to make them stand up. up I got some net lights. I have a lot of net lights and they're so easy for bushes but it's really annoying when they go out because they have so many lights on there but that's beside the point. At this point in my life I've become like a natural at replacing broken lights and fixing fuses and all that. It's it's a lot y'all. If you have the amount of bushes that I do in my yard you need to get some net lights. After all I can't just let these bushes just sit here not lit up after the whole yard looks so crazy. That would be tragic y'all we need to chat about what's coming up and if you're not subscribed here's my chance to convince you to hit that subscribe button of course they're in the middle of full-blown holiday cheer until the end of the year which means you can expect even more christmas content coming up i know i've been pumping out christmas videos like it's my job well, it is my job, but I still have a few more to go, okay? I'll be decorating my bedroom and the kids' bedroom in completely new and different themes than the rest of the house. It's gonna be so fun and different and I can't wait to share, so I hope that you guys will tune in. Also, we're going to my mom's for Thanksgiving and I'm hoping we can film a decor video together up there. She's the one who inspired me to decorate like I do and I would love to decorate as a family and decorate her house with her. I just think it would be so much fun. Plus she has a lot of really cool vintage decor, so that would be really cool to see too. Let me know if that would be interesting to you. Also, I'm gonna be doing some Christmas homemaking, party ideas, Christmas crafting and DIYs, and lots of gift ideas thrown in wherever I can. So be sure to subscribe. We have a fun rest of the season coming up. I know people have really strong opinions about blow-ups. Every single year I get comments about the blow-ups, but honestly, I like them and the kids like them too. And you know, Christmas is for the kids, okay? They are inexpensive, they do make a big impact and they are so simple to put up. As you can see, I have a bunch. I didn't even put up all of the ones that I actually own, but my favorite is by far the Snoopy one. I love Snoopy, you guys know that. It was the most expensive, I'll be honest with you. It was over $100, but I got it for Christmas one year, but it is also the best quality one and it stays blown up so well.
When I post videos about outdoor lights, I always get questions about how I plug it all in. To put it simply, I run everything off of three outside outlets that I have. Each outlet gets extension cords that have multiple plugs at the end of them, and everything comes off of those. Do I blow the breaker at least once? Absolutely. But hey, I feel like it's part of the experience, and it's definitely part of the Cart Glowswald experience. I ended up moving lights around until it's balanced and it works correctly, and sometimes I will have to replace fuses and stuff, but it ends up being like a sea of extension cords out there. So thank God I don't have to mow the grass during the month of December, but that's okay. That's what it takes to bring Christmas cheer. See, it's getting darker outside. I'm not even kidding you guys when I say I worked the entire day on these lights for y'all. Well, for everyone, for my kids, for my neighborhood, whatever. But really, I had this video in mind. I started at 10 a.m. and didn't stop until it got dark. Like, I, I don't even know when the last time I worked for that long in a row was. It actually ended up taking me three separate days to get all of this done, but it was worth it. Blue fuse. Gotta go figure it out. Welcome to Christmas Light 101. If you have too many put together, you will blow a fuse and then you have to go change the fuse in the first one and then move everything around so it's not all coming off the same string. So really you're only supposed to put like three or four strings together, I think. Usually you can push it to like five or six, but uh, it takes a lot of moving things around to get it all to work at the same time. Okay y'all, this is so much bigger than I expected. So big. This is totally worth ten dollars. And also that's what she said, but that's beside the point. I look ridiculous right now, but my ears are cold. But look at <laughs> it's freaking huge. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> ah. I'm dying. Okay, we're gonna put it up right here. I was like, it can't be that big. I was just expecting it to be like, you know, maybe like three feet tall or I don't know. I don't know how measurements. Come on, y'all. I don't know measurements, but let's, I think I'm gonna put them right here. Seems like a good spot. Let me go get this stuff. I better bring it with me though, cause it'll blow away. It's kind of windy today. Deceased by how giant they are. But I think they need to move like closer to each other or something because they're just kind of random. as I want to be the super cute influencer who has their life together, who always looks really nice in their videos, I don't think I'm ever going to be. I think I'm always going to be the female version of Clark Griswold influencer who definitely doesn't have her life together and always looks a hot mess. Anyway, I'm about to put up some more lights over this because I have some extra. At this point, I'm just like trying to use up all the lights that I have, so I'm putting them up here since I have them. out in the shed looking for my timers and I found these I forgot about them so now I'm going to put them up I don't really know where like I really can't fit anything else anywhere but um 
Like why waste them, you know? Why not just use them? I think I'm officially done. Except for I do have to put lights up like along the roof, but you girls not getting up on the roof because if I die, who's gonna take care of my kids? And that just sounds like a lot. And I don't know if my life insurance will pay out if I die from putting up Christmas lights, although it is a little bit of a job hazard, so I don't know. So maybe there'll be a part two to this where I like, you know, show you guys putting up those lights and also like other random things if i add anything else out here i don't think i'm gonna add anything else but you never know crazier shit has happened so i am pooped y'all i i have literally put out lights for three days pretty much every day but i'll see you guys later when it's dark so i can show them all to you well i'm all for christmas all the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you I want to thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more holiday content, I have the perfect video for you, so make sure to click right up in the corner. And don't go anywhere, because I would love to have you stick around. Also, if no one sold you today, you're doing a great job. Moving nimbly, did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Oh, whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true